Which is more important, your couch or your cat? That's the question that's opening a cage of criticism over declawing your friendly feline. You are amputating them to protect a couch. Some legislatures around the country are considering bans of the age-old practice. While supporters call declawing cruel and unnecessary, critics of the proposed ban say getting scratched can lead to infections in humans. Johns Hopkins details how some people can track cat scratch disease where they end up with body aches and flu-like symptoms. Symptoms. And some veterinary associations have argued that declawing may be the best alternative to euthanizing a destructive feline. The cats are going through a lot. And during this procedure, Democratic State Representative Barbara Hernandez of Aurora, Illinois, is the latest American lawmaker seeking to end what some critics call an archaic practice. I have a cat of my own as well. So I know that um, even though she scratches me sometimes, it's it's something that it's in their nature. There are animals there. Um, and if people are not ready to deal with their claws, then maybe they shouldn't get a cat. Right now, only two states, New York and Maryland, plus the District of Columbia, have passed legislation making declawing cats illegal. But the Humane Society tells us this year, a dozen states have seen bills seeking to outlaw the procedure, and several cities and counties across the U.S. have also jumped on board, including Los Angeles, Denver, and Austin, Texas, to name a few. We see a lot of towns, local community cities, that are passing declaw bans. For example, in, in Pennsylvania, we've seen everywhere from big cities like Pittsburgh to a small towns like Aetna and Easton, who many people probably haven't heard of, um, hmm. but they've all passed bans on, on decline. It's not on the forefront of animal cruelty, but it's such an injustice. Dr. Jenny Conrad is a veterinarian who turned filmmaker when she wanted to show people what it takes to denail a cat. I made a documentary because I thought it was really important for people to understand that declawing a cat is not some fancy manicure. It's actually an amputation of the last bones in their toes. Look at those claws. She hopes understanding that medical procedure more clearly will change some minds. It's an amputation and I think that most people love their cats and they wouldn't do that to them if they, if like if veterinary medicine, if we called it denuckling. Veterinarians say the procedure can have a negative effect in the health and well-being of cats. That changes the way the cat walks because you know how a cat walks in high heels um, they walk up on their toes. They have arthritis in their shoulders and in their, they have back pain. They become more likely to bite because they've been robbed of this primary way of defending themselves, their claws. And they're less likely to use the litter box because it hurts to dig in the sand. Ouch! Conrad says educating people on declawing is key. It's one of the most painful surgeries in all of veterinary medicine. And yet, it's done on 20 to 24 percent of American cats. Her final message to your purry friend. Love your cat more than your couch. That's all that matters. Tammy Eswick, Scripps News, New Orleans.